everyone, and welcome back to the Oxenfree playthrough, episode 13. Ooh, spooky, right? <laughs> uh, no, we're, we're getting a lot done. We've got, uh, we found Closerus. She should, still did her whole uh, suicide thing. And then we also found Ren and Nona, and we're heading back to the tower so that we can listen to Ren and Jonas bitch for about five minutes. After that, we'll choose somebody else to go with us and, and, and investigate the town. I'm going to hit the continue button and let's see what we have. Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a... Okay, are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is... I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of the- What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd she do that? Um, I think she was... Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's whatever, that's that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was going to retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the, just picture like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important this. test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Yeah, I mean, he needed his amp. And it was just a stupid test, so who cares? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still- well, You failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. Yeah, I mean, even if you think the test was stupid, I don't know. Can't help but feel that you maybe should have probably still done it. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just- like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. Well, I don't regret it. Not really. Ren did a good show, and Mindy got drunk, and it was funny, and the test wouldn't have made me laugh, so... Amen. All right. Well, hopefully Jonas, you know, catches up when we go to the... Epiphany Fields. Super excited for today, everyone. Super excited. You have no idea. The guy who owns the escape room right now is coming down today Mayday. May to start signing everything over to me. Oh, crap. This isn't it. This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Alright, so if Nona's How in the cone tower and stand you're to listen all to me all day. Us, God, where did Clarissa get off to? Maybe Nona's seen her on the way in, or has a clue or something. I think Clarissa would be with her then, though, right? I'm just talking here. Oh, hey guys. I see you down there, and... Without Clarissa. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's just tired, Ren. We're all tired. I mean, hell, I would have been tired by now if all we'd been doing was drinking and laying on the beach. Yeah, I guess. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just... We... Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. I cannot believe you. You're gonna keel over in like a purple haze while we try and save our lives. I'm gonna be fine. Last time I just ate too much. This was a gimme. It's baby food. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? 
I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so... That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes, oh! Oh, I got it! This is great, this is perfect, I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not, she's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate like two brown... Oh my god, I'm not sitting through a contest of who can be the biggest butt monster right now, so can we please just jump to the part where we try and fix our problem? Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like... Brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You are... Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What?! First, you let me sweat it out for like two hours in the woods to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, you ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care. I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... <sighs> Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Oh, we can talk to them. I didn't even see that we can talk to them. Come on, all the way up. There we go. But yeah, he's coming down today, and we're starting the process of signing all the paperwork and getting the business and all the accounts and everything like that. In my name. Are you, um, feeling any better since the last time we saw you? I don't know. Like, I'm getting the flu, honestly. But whatever. I'll rally. Just come back with the key. No hard feelings. Right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. He's all butthurt, but... I mean, honestly, can he be so oblivious as to not know why? <sighs> this, I mean, this is the sign of an, a good game, when you can actually get frustrated over an imaginary person being angry with you over something stupid that they did. And you deciding, you know what, I want the sober person to come with me. Not the dude who's popping fucking weed brownies nonstop. This is different. That was big time different. That did not happen last time. But yes, everything's getting started, everybody. Everything's getting started. I'm going to get all the stuff signed over to me, and we are going to be making some new rooms. You guys are going to be able to like come down and go and come to my shop if you want to. It's going to be pretty amazing.
Two epiphany peels. There we go. How many times can I hit that button? Let's go. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that- Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why do you, um, why'd you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not going to defend myself. You lost control. I can completely it happens. understand we, that. We break sometimes. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you... Are you okay? Hey. It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not going to say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be. And that's really down. about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. hearing us how, how okay so it's just gonna repeat super excited it's gonna be a fan that was also new but yes it is going to be a fantastic day for me after i uh publish this i'm gonna go and um, grab have some you supplies. i think you might have mentioned this before but maybe the cobwebs are just clearing a bit or something but i feel like we've done this before and not just like this little part, but like the whole night. Yeah, I don't know. It's... I've had like goose pimples since we got off the boat and everything the ghosts have said and... It's almost like I can... Like I know what you're gonna say before you say it. Oh yeah? Well, what am I gonna say now? Well, I, I don't know. This part feels like new or something. Okay. After I grab the cleaning spots and stuff like that uh, for the place, I'm gonna get in some very vigorous exercise. You know, just try and like work out all the. Uh, this is whatever I'm trying I to wanna, think of. Like, nerd. This is stuff. whatever. But are you yeah. like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but it no, doesn't... not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but. Still, just trying to work out nerves tonight. And stuff like this that, hasn't you know? shaken anything loose, or I'd be lying if I said. I guess this stuff we've been going through has pushed then... the needle a little closer to maybe. Yeah, my parents were Methodist, but my mom, she like practiced. Tonight's kind of. I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought. But I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Yeah, I could see having some of that stuff could be timely now. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. 
Okay, good try. Maybe they want to, maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to, trying to, whatever, to talk through us or something? I guess. Only one way to find out. Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? Alex, a little help over here. Clarissa, why don't you crawl down from there, please? Marissa? I'm... I'm trying to help you. This is... this will... Help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you... Uh, there's a ghost in you right now. They're, they've, like, perverted this... Ghost? Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the nightlight on. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay, or... Oh, she's... Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just... just take it easy. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just... been through something. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend... <sighs> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump-started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is, Jonas, it wasn't my fault, really. I believe you, okay? But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait, what? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? Oops. That's crazy, she was... It was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Clarissa? Wait, Clarissa was just... Hey, this she was is by not the monument. last time. Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> You know, I don't, 
I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? I don't know if I buy the whole we're causing it thing. The ghosts could be messing with stuff, messing with us. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this far behind us. Let's do it. The office is right here. Oh, Alex, I mean, wait, maybe this isn't a good idea. We didn't come here for this. Do you think maybe we should leave this one alone? Much improved. Are you... are you keeping us here? No, the... Island. Keeps... Us... All... Zoned. What do you... Like, is there... Many times, times must, must we say you say, say you can, can not, not get, get out. out. Talk, Talk to, to the radio, radio as much as, as you, you like other, other. Alex will, will not, not will help. help. Betwixt we, we are. Just, can't you tell us what you need to get out of here? To go, to go home or whatever, whatever you call it? No. No use and in try. 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 It's like these guys can't speak in anything but brain teasers. Hey, they gave us some stuff to chew on. We know, well, we think we know we might be able to talk to, like, a past version of us or something. <sighs> or maybe not. Yes, the pieces are all falling into place, clearly. Well, that was definitely new. Come around here. You never know what might be new now, so we're just gonna go all the way to the end of the pier. We're gonna look for anything else. Nothing? Okay, we're gonna go up here and get the. We're gonna go up here and get the, the wall radio. And that'll be it for this episode. Can't wait. I'm gonna get my supplies and I'm gonna go exercise and then. Uh. I'm going to be ready to start signing some papers. Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Ren's a good egg. If he thinks there's something in here, there probably is. I once saw him guess the exact change in his couch cushion, down to the nickel. Good for him. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. Last time we didn't check the cabinet. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. <laughs> Never gets old. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Yeah, this is the big daddy. That, here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall Alpha. stands for wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um Uniform. that frequency thing, Echo. where each frequency Eventually. is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. Oh, great. Let's November. hike it back to the gate. Tango. Oh, wait, look at India. this. Personal Tango. effects of Margaret Dorothy Uniform. Adler. Echo. Eventually. Why would her stuff be here? A Didn't her family, or November. hasn't her family Tango. been carting her things India. back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What? 
What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control, like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find Ooh, these beacons yeah. in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time, and truly for the interest of time itself. And then it's just signed, uh... Oh, Christ. This is... This is, like, literally a treasure map. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You... We do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Oh my god, the, the Camaloa was destroyed by- Yep, we already know that one, and I accidentally clicked it, clicked exit on our escape uh, before letting it go again. So my fault. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, that'll uh, wrap up today's video. We're gonna go back and look for the wall stuff. Bam! And there we go. That's today's video. Lots of interest, like a whole bunch of new stuff actually happened. Even if it was just like simple, uh, like the imagery that like just pops up after the static. Uh, talking to that one thing after talking to Clarissa. That was new. This is um, an interesting way to play through things. Just revealing it over multiple playthroughs. But yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a great day. I know I'm going to. And, as always, stay positive.